Hey, welcome to the Moral News for the week of March 24, 2023. And we're going to start off in Britain again, no big surprise. But uh, Dr. Aaron Edwards, fired for a tweet. Listen to Calvin Robinson and him talk for a minute. A Christian theology lecturer has been sacked after he tweeted that homosexuality is invading the church. Dr. Aaron Edwards, who is 37 years old and a father of five, was fired last week for misconduct by Cliff College, a Methodist college in Derbyshire, following a disciplinary hearing. I want to ask you why you tweeted the tweet, because some people will say it was provocative, some people will say it's hateful. What's your uh, reasoning? Yeah, for me, it's it was a, an imperative for the time we're in a, as the church. I think that we're seeing a, a growing LGBT, LGBT agenda, and I think it's one thing to see that happen out in the world beyond the church, but when it comes into the church, I think that's a time when those who want to stand upon the the Orthodox Christian faith and need to speak up and speak out and and not allow the toleration of sin because God doesn't tolerate sin. He can forgive sin, but he doesn't tolerate it. And so when the church, it, as it were, gives its blessing to God giving its blessing for same-sex relationships, as the Anglican Church did recently, uh, I find that particularly offensive as a Christian. And I think Christians need to stand up for the word of God at that time. So that's why I tweeted what I tweeted. I don't think I was trying to cause trouble on purpose, but I, of course, I knew that it, it might you know, be a difficult thing for some to hear, but I think it's something that evangelicals especially, and really anyone who wants to stand upon the word of God needs to be awake to at this time. So again, carrying on with the moral news, we now go to the Welsh part of, of Britain and uh, some interesting muffins there, some muffins you might want to be careful before you eat one. In the UK, the Welsh government is promoting transsexualism to children. A group of Welsh government officials and University of Cardiff academics recently produced a sex education document for children as young as seven, in which teachers are told students might be, quote, mixed berry gender fluid muffins. Teachers are encouraged to give students various berry filled muffins and explain that just because the child was given a certain muffin doesn't mean he or she has to like the berries in it. So over in uh, the land of Israel, uh, there's a new law they're trying to uh, bring in that would strengthen their uh, anti-Christian witnessing. You can't do any Christ talk about Christianity there in Israel. Uh, sponsored by some kind of Orthodox Jewish guys. They say this will never pass. Uh, I think Netanyahu or somebody came out yesterday and said, oh, no, we wouldn't do that. And they probably wouldn't because, you know, money from America is kind of an important piece of the total there. But anyway, that's kind of an interesting bit as well. But let's move on and come finally to the one that you probably knew I was going to talk about. And that is uh, Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg, who the University of Helsinki... This is Finland, and they are going to give her an honorary theological doctorate. I want to read this to you here, why they're giving her an honorary doctorate in theology. Listen to this. So they say she's an activist. Uh, here's the last half of this. The value of her uncompromising and consistent work for the future of our planet has been recognized with several major awards and prizes. Her actions have obliged all of us with the task as members of communities and societies, but above all, as human beings, of making changes to our everyday lives. But her thing is kind of this this climate religion, not really, you know, not really Judeo-Christianity. It's, it's more of a climate religion. I don't understand really why they're getting her. Well, I do. They're giving her a degree because because this is the, this says more about the university than her. Than her. I don't want to really... Uh, grind down on her. I mean, she didn't choose to be born in 2003 in a Scandinavian country with the pieces that go with that. This is the University of Helsinki uh, telling us that they are cool. This is the University of Helsinki telling us that we're big on the climate train. That's what it is. And what do we think about this? Well, you know, the secular, really the, the climate change thing is a big piece of the uh, current preferred narrative, the state narrative, this, this very secular, technocratic uh, state thing. I mean, this is really antithetical to Judeo-Christianity. But University of Helsinki says that's okay. And by the way, they haven't really given it to her. They say they're going to give it to her in June. It's interesting how many people are tuned in to the climate thing. It's, it's interesting how this young person 
is instead of saying anything about a Judeo-Christian approach, uh, it's all about saving the climate, saving the planet, because, you know, I guess I guess God forgot to put in any safeguards. So it's just up to us. It's up to us. It's very secular. It's very humanistic. So, yeah, I don't think I give her a theology degree. <laughs> oh, well. So that's the moral news for this week. And we'll see you next week all over again. 